How's everybody doing? Aftermath sample again with the Samsung Code. And today I'm going to be introducing a new emulator I actually found on the phone. This is a Sega Genesis emulator. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. I've been playing a lot recently. I got it about two days ago. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this emulator. If you guys have seen on my previous video on my NES emulator, then you have that and you'll have this one. If you haven't, then you can also check that. Check that out to get the NES emulator and get the Genesis. So first thing we want to do is go to Internet Explorer so we can get it. Mm, let's hope my internet is actually fast today. Sorry that the video is kind of dark. It's just really cloudy outside. Raining. So I have right here um, in my favorites. I think. Okay, so I ended up not having the website on my favorites, but I found it. It's a, either way, um, I'll go ahead and I'll put the link on the bottom bar right there. So you guys can just click on there and download it. So you'll come to a website that looks like this. That says uh, myblackjack2.com. It'll say right there, Pickle Drive Genesis Mega Drive Emulator. Uh, Windows Mobile 6.1. Then you see a little download thing right there. I don't know if you can see that clearly. There it is on pink that it says download. Click on that. When you download, of course, it's just going to ask you, you know, what do you want to do with the drive? You know, you want to save it, anything like that. You go ahead and save it and install it. I'm not going to do that. Obviously, I have it installed already. So then you're going to want to download ROMs, just like with the NES. Now, I do have a website here, my favorites. Now, this one I do have. I'll put a link on the bottom bar also for this one this is actually a website that has a lot of Genesis um, ROMs it's called romnation.com .net I'm sorry and um, there is a lot of websites out there that you can get ROMs so you can just you know pick whatever one you want this is the one that I found useful it's pretty cool it says actually um, Sega Genesis ROMs right there and um, and there's just like the alphabet so you can just search by title and you pretty much is easy you just Press the, let's say you're looking for Street Fighter you, or Sonic, you go to S and you look, you scroll down to Sonic, Street Fighter or whatever it is that you want. Click on it, you download the ROM and it's just pretty simple. After that you're going to want to, if you already installed Pickle Drive, go ahead and open it and it'll just be a black page like that, just like the NES emulator. File and load ROM. Then go to where wherever it is that you save your ROMs and play them from there. I'm going to put over here Street Fighter. And it should start pretty fun, for the most part. There is some games that I've tried out out there that don't play as good, but most of the games play just fine. If any, if you guys have any, at any time actually played with a Sega Genesis, you would know that uh, that it has six different buttons. You know, A, B, C, X, Y, and Z. So you're gonna have to go ahead and customize those buttons on here. And when I first when I first got the emulator, the buttons were all messy. I didn't know what to press. I didn't know what was what. So I suggest you guys go to uh, the options right here and customize your own keys because um, I don't know what the default keys are at. Once you once you customize them, they they should stay like that for any other game that you play. So if I switch games right now, they'll still be just like I made them. And um, for the most part, the gameplay is actually really, really good. I'm going to choose over here, uh, Blanca. Plus. Now this is Street Fighter. This is one of my favorite Genesis games. Well, oh, favorite game of all time. Let's see what we can do against Ken right here. Oh, you bastard. He's gonna get me. Oh, you cheap. There you go, I took him. <laughs> so as you can see, it's actually pretty, pretty cool. And everything runs pretty fine. So, nothing to complain on the pickle drive. This is the, 
version 0.052. I think there's newer versions out there that have fixed like a couple bugs and stuff like that. I just really haven't looked into it. And either way, this runs fine for me, so I'm not really looking to change it anytime soon. So yeah, just like the other NES emulator, at any point you can just stop and save your current status and load it back. Um, load it back at any time. So that's pretty cool. So that is the Pico Drive Sega Genesis emulator. Now, any other questions you guys have, just leave me a comment and I'll be glad to answer. And I'll also put the links for the Pico Drive download and the Sega Genesis ROMs download. Alright, well this is Aftermath Sample. Thank you very much.